Hey guys, GreatGamer34 here. Um, so I'm going to start with a CPU tutorial. Um, and it's going to require you knowing how to build this ALU, which I have said before. But to start, we're going to have to modify this ALU for a little bit. Now one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to use World Edit because I have it. Position, whoops. Position 1. Come down here for position 2. And we're going to get rid of it all. We don't need that at all. So now we need, we don't need this either. And we don't need that. Um, just for purposes right now, we'll stick a repeater there. And this is our carry out flag. So we're going to use this for um, things. I use it in Fibonacci all the time to tell me when to stop the program. So, yeah, we're going to need this. Um, now, this isn't going to have any fancy shifter or anything on it. It's just the only way it's going to be able to shift numbers is by doubling them. That's that's how it's going to have to do it. There's going to be no radix bits or anything in this. It's just going to be simple. And, yeah. Another thing we're going to do is we're actually going to move where our inverters are in this and... Let me get rid of this music. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a repeater on these like that. And then we're going to um, staircase upwards. And this will allow for room underneath and just for better fitting everything. So I'll just do that. And we invert that. And we shouldn't be getting anything out, which is correct. We're not getting anything out. And this also, by the way, isn't going to be the fastest CPU. None of these, this isn't really optimized for much. Um, this can be done much faster, especially if you use Nuos, Sealy, and um, better inverters. But this is just what I came up with on the spot when I started this, so that's what I ended up using. Um, and then now you'll notice we have our outputs like this. And we could power into them from here, which is going to be crucial for the CPU design. Um, and we'll just add, um, to keep everything synced, make a repeater go on this line, because that'll sync it with these repeaters here. Um, and then for synchronicity, synchronicity, whatever, um, we're going to add a repeater there because we have to have repeaters there. Um, and actually, we don't even need to do that. Heck, we can just do. Nope, can't do that. Um, yeah. And now we have our rearranged inputs and input inverter er uh, thingies. And then, and now we're done with that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, since we have four bits to work with, we can do a couple things. Um, we're going to use this. We're going to make this have dual read RAM. Well, the register system, the way the registers are going to be set up, it's going to have a a dual read register system. So we'll go ahead and bring each uh, each about to there. And then position two and stack three. So we just need lines going like this. This is good. And then we just need to do that. So if you noticed, this it doesn't have invert output. That can be easily done in two clock cycles of a CPU. If you need to invert a number, you uh, plug the number in through the ALU. Save that to a register, read from that register, invert or er, read that into A or B, and then invert A or B depending on that, and save that to the same register or to a different register. I mean, and then you have an inverted number. So we're able to speed up this uh, ALU by two ticks by getting rid of that output inverter. Um, so I guess we'll start on the side, and this is an unnecessary. Um, so we'll do four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-
4 by 4 bits of memory. So how this works is it's wider than it is um, long, I guess. All right, so um, if I messed up. We're going to do it like this. Man, I have not built this standard repeater lock RAM in a while. And by standard, I mean now I use diagonal ones that fit just right underneath the ALU, so it saves busing time. But like I said, for the purpose of this video, it's just to get it to show you how it works. There we go. So we want it like that. Let's get this stuff out of the way. We want to come out two and up one. And now we're setting up our reads. There's our read. And then we use like a glowstone or half slab tower, which is completely tileable. It works great. I'm just building it the way I am, so when I stack it, it doesn't mess up. And I'm failing right now. What the hell did I just do? So. Oh man, I suck at at this. Um there. So now we have reeds. Now keep in mind everything in this is gonna be inverted, so seems like quite a lot of inversions, but it's really not. And this also requires quite a lot of glowstone, um, or half slabs, to, uh, depending on what you like to build with. I prefer glowstone, because A, this texture pack makes it look pretty boss, and B, I like the light. So, go ahead and place redstone like that, and for stack stacking purposes, let's do this. Like that. So we have that. Um, let's get rid of my example here because I had to reteach myself how to make it. Um, these lines are all going to be inverted. And then these lines are all going to be inverted. And just for the sake of doing it like this, I'm going to do it like this. torches underneath because like I said all the inputs have to be inverted this might seem really confusing right now but it's really not and yeah don't worry about that that'll get blocked off um, I don't know if you can hear my phone ringing but um, yeah nobody's gonna pick it up <laughs> alright so we have our RAM hooked up um, now you'll see that we have no data coming through and we have no data coming out. Um, let's hook up the last final bit part to this and it's the reads which are just right here. And there we have one four bit rams. Okay I'm just super slow. Um, Okay. Invert here. Invert down here. And then inverted read like we've had before. If I want data to be written in one, and the, or there and there, they will be off. The only way to locate or to access that data is if I read from the first slot. I will get a one out. Or if I decide to read from here, I will get a one out because it's it's just letting the read. This is just an AND gate. Invert A, invert B, invert O. So there, that's set up. We'll go ahead and just make sure there's zeros in every slot. And right now there's zeros in every slot because these are on. So memory's working. Now for the fun part of stacking. Um Yeah, so how am I gonna do this? Position one. Oh, I know what I can do. Watch this. Put 
position two. And if I copy from here, watch this. Paste minus A. So now, this looks a lot more like a memory unit. We don't need this redundancy right here. Um, there is a complete working 4x4-bit memory system. Um, and once again, this isn't going to be very large, so this is not going to be able to run a huge program or anything. Um, so what we'll do is we'll hook up this uh, input here into this input here. To do the easiest busing, it's, um, let's do position one. We'll leave that position there for now. And let's see here. Um, let's place redstone on all this. Whoops. Position two. Stack three. Good. And we just bust it like this. And we, uh, here's another cool command. Position one. Um, position two, and now cop type this in exactly. Slash slash replace zero the redstone. Because I spelt it wrong. There. And busing is now ha has now has redstone on it, so that was pretty simple. Now we just build another one of those on this side. So simple enough to do. Do uh, slash slash pos one. Uh, position two. Copy from where the torch goes in. Copy. Flip. Like that. And let's paste it over here just to see what happens. Once again, my spelling is a fail. Um, that looks about right. So. Um, sorry about that guys, but Bandicam, or I think my computer was just being dumb, and it crashed or something like that, so, um, what I did recently was I copied from here, flipped it a hundred, uh, just flipped it, slash slash flip, it'll invert, or it'll reverse all the pieces, came over here, I had to come over here and paste, and that ended up pasting it in here, I added these torches here just to invert these lines, and then all you have to do, which I'm not going to redo on camera, is bus from our inputs here to our and around. And that's all you have to do. And once you finish that, you'll be done with this part of the tutorial. Um, the next part of the tutorial, we're going to actually add decoders to the registers for reading and writing. We're going to um, set up some control logic. And we'll get this thing running in the hopefully in the next tutorial. So in the next ten minutes in the next ten minute video that I upload after this one, you should have a fully functioning forty ticker faster CPU. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.